coming in. Whoa, it is for charity, you mug. The same rules. Hey. It's me. I think it's safe. What's happened here? Fisty cups already. The same drama. Oh. Come on, CRH. Yeah! But now the stakes are higher. Why have I tripled up? I can't watch it. Will these famous faces handle the pressure? Drop it! I'm not enjoying this at all. Good. That's why you're in there, Craig. Welcome to the wall versus celebrities. Good evening and welcome to a very special night on the wall. Let's get on with it and meet tonight's players, Stacey Dooley and Craig Riven Orwood. Oh, yes, here they are. Hi. Welcome. Oh, Danny. How are you doing? We're feeling very excited. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well, optimistic. Very I've got, optimistic. I've got to say, looking beautiful, the pair of you. I've worn gold, darling. Double gold? Yeah, double gold. Come on. <laughs> it's the only slightly. way forward. <laughs> it's a good luck charm. <laughs> I hope so, Craig. I really do. Oh. So do I. Just got to make it clear, obviously, you, you are still pals. We're doing this social distancing thing. Right. Yep. We don't spread corona in this gaff. Nuh-uh. All right? Craig, you're a theatre legend. Thank you. Who people, <laughs> who people probably know best as the horrible one from Strictly Come Dancing, always taking liberties with people. That's it. Stacey, <laughs> you're a documentary maker, a uh -huh. broadcaster. And you actually won Strictly Come Dancing. I did, by some miracle, Danny. I don't know how, but Even yeah. though Craig didn't give you a ten. Never. You're still pals, though, aren't you? We're still mates. We love one another. We love I each love other. That. We love each I other. I love that. Shall we uh, find out a little bit more about you? Yes. <laughs> we first met in 2018. It was love at first sight. He's a sweetheart. He's hysterical. And I suppose we hung out more on tour. And actually, whenever we had to get a plane somewhere, it was always you and I. Yeah, we're always put together. Yeah. Who I didn't thought? ask for that. No, I didn't ask for that. In like fact, a... I asked for the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> Stacey, I hope tonight isn't going to be a complete and absolute disaster, darling. How are you at quizzes, Craig? Well, I have been on several quizzes and I've failed miserably. Excellent. But I'm going to, this time, try and break my series of failures. To beat the ball tonight, we need courage. Mm -hmm. We need the balls to drop in the right places, and my balls always drop in the right places. I but... don't doubt that for a second, <laughs> Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Very sweet. Well, tonight, we're trying to win some massive readies for charity. Tell us who you're playing for tonight, Craig. I'm playing for the Royal Osteoporosis Society. The best thing to do for preventing it, of course, is weight-bearing exercise, and that's where dance comes in. And they need money like never before. <laughs> and, Stace, who are you playing for? Playing for mind, so of course, you know, mental health has always been massively important, but arguably now more than ever, yes. really. Yeah, I, I really will be thrilled if we just get a bit. Should we get on with it? Yes. Yeah. Should we have it? Yes. Come on. Round one is called free fall. Let's load up the wall. <laughs> this is how it's going to work. We're going to ask you a question. We're going to drop them three balls down the wall. You have to lock in an answer before the first ball reaches the money. You get the question right, the balls turn green, you're banking readies. You get it wrong, the balls turn red. We take the money away. We don't fancy that, do we? That's no, not we don't like it. Should we have it? Let's, Let's do go. it. That's what I want to hear. Let's play free fall. <laughs> All right. Right, let's have some questions. <sighs> the good news is I'm not asking them. I've got balls and all that business to worry about. <laughs> it's my pleasure to introduce the first lady of knowledge. It's Angela Ripman. How are you getting on, babe? Good evening, Danny. And a special welcome to <laughs> our celebrities this evening. Here's your first question. Come on. Who is the youngest child of David and Victoria Beckham? I know. A. Cruz Harper. or B. Harper? Harper. Better lock it in. There you go. You've locked, locked in, in Harper. Yeah. Give us some money. <laughs> Give us some money. Oh. There's a grand. <laughs> Keep high five, guys. There's another grand. Oh, oh yes. What's that? Cut the grand. All Stacey, that, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Right. We want a strong start. Stacey fancied Harper. <laughs> is it right or is it wrong? Of course yeah. it's right. Oh, oh, oh. Come good. on, Stace. Yeah. Two grand. That's good. Good. Good start. Question two of five, please. 
In Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet, which of the title characters dies first? A, Romeo, or B, Juliet? Got to lock one in. Romeo. Make a decision. Yeah, let's see that. You've got again. Romeo. Give us some money. Yes, it is. Give West us some Romeo, darling. Is it? Yeah. Tony died. Oh! What was that? Oh! Over four grand now. Yeah. Read a lot of books, Craig? Yeah, a little bit of Shakespeare. Don't ask me to recite it, though, darling. No. I'm not a classical actor. I'm a drag queen. <laughs> and a beautiful drag queen as well you are. Yes. <laughs> so you fancied Romeo? We do fancy Romeo. Whoa! Is it right? Or is it wrong? Come on! Come on! Oh. Come on! Oh. Look at this! £6,000! Oh, £101! Lovely. lovely! Question three of five, please. The screen couple, Giles and Mary, made their reality television debut on which programme? A. Love Island or B. Gogglebox? Gogglebox. Gogglebox. A. Love Island, B. B. Gogglebox. You've got to lock it in. Come on. You've locked in be. Gogglebox. Come on, we want big Come on, give us some money. 2.5. 2.5. 2K. 500, that's not right. Tenner. <laughs> Confident? I, th I think so, yeah. Whoa. Is it right? Or is it wrong? Yes. yes. We're sailing through. Yeah, be careful, Stace, with that dialogue, because uh, it can all go wrong. 8,611 pounds. This is beautiful. We want more. We do. Oh, okay. Question four of five, please. Which of these is the branch of science that deals with space? A, astrology, a. or B, astronomy? A B. Oh, ah, make your call. That's stars, astrology. A. It's B. I think it's You've got to make your call. B. B. Yeah. Thank you. Astronomy. What? What's happened here? <laughs> I think, well, no, we had a disagreement. Oh, I was saying astronomy. Oh, already. Yeah. OK. If Stacey's right, you're going to have over 12 grand. If Craig's right, you're going to have half the amount of money. Oh. Whoa! Is it right? Oh, come on, Will. Yeah, it is. Or is it's it wrong? Oh, yes! yes. Well done! <laughs> You. Oh, 12,611. Wow. This is incredible. OK. Question five of five, please. Which of these dishes traditionally contains spinach? A, eggs benedict, or B, eggs florentine? Florentine. Make yeah. your call. B. Got to make a call. B. B. You've gone florentine. florentine. Give us some reddies. Oh! oh. Yes! That was all you, Craig, wasn't it? Yeah. We love Florentine. He went B. Whoa. Is it right? Or is it wrong? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. Here he is. Here he is. 15,131 oh, pounds. That'd be lovely. That is such a good start. Honestly, you don't understand. Now, later on... You're going to have to choose whether to keep that money as part of the guarantee yeah. or risk it for hopefully a lot more. Now, one of you has to go into isolation behind the wall. You've decided Craig <laughs> is going into isolation. And why not, darling? Tell me why. Because I'm probably the one that will stay po-faced and calm and hopefully make the right decisions. He That's will. what I'm hoping. Go and answer some questions. Go on. Thank go you very much. Craig. Craig is going behind the wall into isolation. He won't be able to see or hear us. But we can see and hear Craig. Here he is, look <laughs> at him. Now, this is where it all gets a bit serious. You got your little mob with you? Yeah. Who's here tonight? So, these are Craig's pals. So, it's hey. David and John. Katie and Kevin. Right. Yeah. And then Maya Kev, King Kev on the side there. Here he is, there look he at is. him. <laughs> King Kev, is that what you call him? My boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. King Kev, was Stacey being here and not in isolation the right move? Be careful how you answer. <laughs> <laughs> She's very gung-ho. <sighs> we like that. She's very capable, I reckon, of going all in and building up a big amount. Yeah. But she's just as capable of losing it all. Yeah. David. Yes. Is Craig the man for isolation? <laughs> Does he like a quiz? 
if there's questions about musical theatre, I think we'll be OK. There'll be a small chance of that, I would have thought. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we get on with it? Yeah. yeah. Do it. Try and win some readies. Yes. Let's play round two. <laughs> now, we've got a lot more money on the wall, including a massive 25 grand. <laughs> Serious readies now. Uh-huh. This is how it's going to work. We're going to start the round with two lovely green balls. Right. They're lovely because they're free money. OK. But if we start the round with two green balls, we have to end the round with two red balls. Right. There's nothing we can do about them. They will be taking money away. They're nasty. So the important bit will be the free question balls. <laughs> they make or break your game, because if Craig gives us right answers to the questions, then balls are going to turn green. Happy days. Great. If he gets the question wrong, they turn red. We don't fancy that, do we? I don't want any more red. No, no, no. No. Now, looking at the state of Craig earlier, <laughs> I don't know if I've got faith in him or not. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a bit of pressure on him. Uh... He might crumble. Now, this is the good bit. Two green balls, potentially worth 50 grand. Now, you need to choose two numbers, but before you do, have a little think, because the big money is on the right-hand side of the wall. So, if you want to play aggressively, you go towards the seven. You want to be careful, conservative, you go towards the one. Now, that's important, because later on, we're going to drop the two red balls from the same numbers that you choose now. Yep. So, with all that in mind, where do you want to put your first two green balls? Seven. She's going straight in at seven. Of course <laughs> she is. OK, that's your first one. Perhaps three for my second. Get your ball, Stace. All right. <laughs> Love it. But don't kiss is... it, don't kiss it. This is seven. Some people kiss some balls. <laughs> Later. <laughs> the second ball. Free. Free. Let's see how the wall's feeling. Is it feeling kind? Oh, I'd love 25. OK. Whoa! Drop them. Whew. I need this one. That fucking out of the way. Oh, I've been unlucky with this one. Ten. Go on, ten, maybe. Ten, 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 ten. ten. <laughs> oh, two and a half. That's unlucky there. Yeah. 17,632 pounds. Listen, listen, it's a lot of money right. still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're on our way. Yeah. Right, let's have some questions. Yeah. This is where Craig has to come to the front. Come on, CRH. Can we have the possible answers to question one, please? A. <laughs> wombat. <laughs> B. Pelican. <laughs> C. Seals. Oh. You laughed at Wombat, why? Well, it was just seeing the word Wombat and Good Craig. Word, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it, are we thinking it's sort of zoo territory? I don't know. Do you find Wombats in a Be zoo? Be the national animal for the Could country, be. maybe? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, with all that in mind, how much faith have you got in Craig? Where do you want to put this ball? <laughs> He can't hear us, can he? No, he can't hear nothing. No, right, OK. You can dig him right out. Craig, <laughs> thanks for nothing in 2018. Yeah, you mug. <laughs> You're a mug. Why don't we go forward, Danny, and then...? Leave it down to fate. Yeah. Some people do that. Yeah. Go and get your ball, Stace. Who knows what it is? Four. He looks thoroughly unimpressed, doesn't he? <laughs> oh. OK. Here he is. Angela. What's the question? <laughs> Which of these animals does not nurture its offspring inside a pouch? Oh, well, who ain't got a pouch, Stace? A seahorse. I think oh, a pelican has. Might have a diddy pouch. In its mouth. I think a seahorse does. I can't... Um, I think a wombat does. Well, certainly, kangaroos do, I know that. Yeah, but there ain't no kangaroos on there, Craig. <laughs> I think a pelican does, actually. The pelicans hold them there. In the mouth. In the mouth, in the beak. yeah. And for some reason, I think a seahorse does. I don't think a wombat does. I'm going to say a wombat. OK. Come on, Craig. You happy with that, yeah? Yeah, I, I reckon I would have gone A or C. I'm certain, I'm certain pelicans do. OK. She says. OK. He Can't fancied one. one bet. Can't quake. Whoa! Was it right? 
Or was it wrong? Oh, oh God! It's the pelican. It was a pelican. <laughs> but good job I'm not up there. <laughs> I see. Okay, look. It's a red ball. You went four. Yeah. You can be wiped out. What do we want here? We want a pound. Ideally, a pound or a tenner or 500 quid. No, quits. I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> right, coming in, wall. Do your damage. Yeah. Drop it. I think that's a result. Oh. £15,132. That's OK. It was a red ball. Yeah. Could have worked out completely. Yeah. We've still got reddies. So, only question one. Long way to go. Loads of time for Craig to really embarrass himself. <laughs> OK. Time for question two. A. Jay-Z. B. Missy Elliott. Uh. C. 50 Cent. Stace? Do you know what? Craig is always the last to go to bed. He sort of loves... Getting on it. Yeah, he loves it. So I suspect he'll do well with this. Yeah, I, yeah, do. I think so. When you think of Jay-Z, you do think of Craig Revel Horwood. <laughs> 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 well, OK, with all that in mind, it's question two, which means you can double up. Yeah. Two balls from the same number, potentially worth 50 grand, if he gets it right. If he gets it wrong, Stace, well... Could be a disaster. Do you want to double up? Yes. Yes! She's <laughs> going to double up! Yeah. <laughs> I knew she would. What number? Uh, seven. <laughs> She's doubling up oh, in wow. seven. That's what I mean. Yeah. Stace, go and get them balls. OK. Oh, I love it. Enough invention, nothing gain. Do Absolutely, Stace. Okay. Got to take the wall. Sometimes you've got to throw a few digs at it. <laughs> love it. You've doubled up, you've gone seven. You've done your bit. You've had faith in your pal. Angela, what's the question? Which of these rappers turned 50 in December 2019? Jay-Z. Oh, dear. Oh, this is oh. not a great one for me, darling. I'm oh, right. oh, don't start that crying. Come on. Well, I don't think it's 50 Cent. And I don't think it's Jay-Z. Oh, mate, I, I have a feeling, is. and it's only a hunch, that it's Missy Elliott. Hmm. This is difficult. Uh, Jay-Z. Well, uh, I'm going to go with my gut feeling, and that is B, oh, Missy Elliott. <laughs> well... <laughs> You think it's Jay-Z, don't you? I'm reasonably sure, but only because I, I love Beyonce. I love her, love her, love her, and I know he's a bit older than her. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, I hope I'm wrong. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah. He went with Missy Elliott on a hunch, the geezer. Whoa! Ah. Uh. Is it right? Or is it wrong? Oh! It's Jay-Z, I think. Ah, oh, shoot. It was Jay-Z. Yeah. Oh, Craig, OK. It's two red balls, you put them in seven. <laughs> OK, let's get it out of the way. Drop them. Ooh. That's nice. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. You want that? Yeah. Oh, my... Nice. Oh, oh, that do, that <laughs> 14,130. Yeah. It's amazing, actually, by the way. It's pretty amazing. You've survived. It's time for question three. A. The Hollywood Walk of Fame. B. The Golden Gate Bridge. C. The Las Vegas Strip. This is a bit of him, isn't it? I'd say, I mean, look at the jacket. He is showbiz. Stace. Yeah, he's showbiz, right? It's showbiz. So, it's question three. Yeah. Which means, Stace, you can triple up three balls from the same number, <laughs> potentially worth 75 grand. Right? Yep. If he gets it right. Yep. If he gets it wrong, you've got to remember, 
We are facing two red balls after this. So five red balls on the spin with 14 bags. I'm not being funny. You don't stand a chance. Uh-huh. Do you want to triple up? Yes. Of course she's going to triple up. Of course she is. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> OK. <laughs> what number, Stace? What number? Seven. She's tripling up in seven. <laughs> 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 Stace! Stace, can't get your balls! Oh, wow. I told you she was gone ho yeah. No, I love it. I love it. Oh, nice. There we go. Listen, they've got to be green. He's got to get it right. I've got, yeah, I've got to believe that he'll get one right. Of course. He's due it. Yeah. You've really, really backed Craig. I mean, I think it's madness. Yeah. Angela, <laughs> what's the question? Oh, come on. From end to end, which of these US landmarks is longest? Oh, dear. Hmm. I think the Golden Gate Bridge is longer than the Hollywood Walk of Fame, I will imagine. Not that I've measured it, darling. Uh, Las Vegas Strip. Now, that is quite long, and I think that's longer than the Golden Gate Bridge. I think he's right. And I suspect the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Mm. Come on, Craig. I'm annoyed at myself. I'm, don't be. As much as I think the Golden Gate Bridge is extremely long, I think the Las Vegas Strip is longer. And I can't see the Hollywood Walk of Fame being longer than the Las Vegas Strip. So I'm going to go with C, the Las Vegas Strip. You've got 14 grand at the moment. Oh, I'm not going to have a penny. How beautiful it would be oh. to have three green balls now. Whoa! <laughs> is it right? Or is it wrong? Always had faith in I've him, didn't we? I've always believed in him. I have. Always believed. Brilliant. <laughs> Could be worth 75 grand. <laughs> Here we go. Come on. Drop him. Oh. Come on, give us a big one. Nice. Give us a big one. Give us a big one. Give us a big one. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't wow. believe it. Wow. <laughs> Fortune doesn't favour the brave. 14,200... I can't hold that hard work. All the stress of it. Oh, OK. We have to drop those two horrible red balls. They've been lurking in the background. They have to fall from the same numbers that you chose at the beginning of the round. Do you remember the numbers you chose? Three and seven. Three and seven. Go and get your balls. Got to do it. I'll really have the up if this goes in the 25. I will, Stacey, no. <laughs> Let's get it out of the way. Drop them. Oh, God, look. <laughs> get away. Get oh, over there. No. Get over there. No, 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 let no. Off. £13,633. Still a long, long way to go. Daddy, I'm sweating. I oh, know, but I'm with you. Don't worry. <laughs> How do you think he's getting on, Craig, in isolation? Um, do you know what? Look at him. I, I suspect he's all right, actually. He is very chill. He's very calm. So, he doesn't look very happy, though, does he? He doesn't ever look happy, though, does he? <laughs> no, it's his resting face. That him really happy. Is it? Oh, is yeah. it? Well... That's the end of round two. Right. Let's get involved with round three. <laughs> now, round three. This is where things get very, very serious. We've now added 50 grand to the wall. <laughs> That's backed up with a 25 grand, a 20 grand, a 15 grand. Serious money now. This time, we're going to start with three 
Lovely green balls. Look at them. Oh, I love green balls. Beautiful balls, yeah. you know. Of course, <laughs> if we start with three green balls, it means at the end of the round, we have three red balls. So the crucial bit, again, is the three question balls in the middle. With that much money on the wall, Craig, getting them <laughs> questions right will tip the odds in our favour. Right, let's bank some big money. Let's play those green balls. Where do you want to put your first green ball? Number seven, please. She's going seven. <laughs> <laughs> Go and get your ball. Uh, you got to do it. Come on. I love her. I love it. Go on. You want big money? That's it. Stace, you want big money? How else are you going to get it? We want 50 grand. I do. Drop it. Go on. Six hundred and thirty-three pounds. Beautiful. <laughs> right. Where do you want to put your second green ball? <laughs> Kev, what do you think? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> Remember the red. Is this ball. what she's like indoors? She a bit. Absolutely. She's all in. She's all, the time. all in. Do you know, Danny? It's for charity, isn't it? So I think unless you're bowls, there's no use trying. Six. You're, cool. you're going six. Go and get your ball. You want money? I want money. You want money? <laughs> Your second green ball. Drop it. 20 or 25. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. £63. <laughs> Last green ball. Uh, uh, All your instincts are saying seven again. I know. Seven. I just seven. wouldn't mind getting a bit seven. more, but then I know. Kev's just shaking his nut up there furiously. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, Kev? If Craig gets a any more wrong as well, you're yeah. losing money each time. He won't get any wrong, of... Kev, will he? <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end of that, there's three balls no. coming. Already six and seven. No, I see. I see, yeah. All right. Seven. <laughs> it's jokes, no. You're <laughs> 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 taking it on bold seven. No, go uh, on. Two, please. Get your ball. Here we go. Let's hope the wall's feeling kind. Drop it. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! oh. £58,634. That's a lot of money. No, of course. That's what I mean. And I feel like, you know, I don't want to sound sort of too earnest, but I just... You know, charities are so desperate for the money, so I feel like I just need to try and be a bit braver. Especially at the yeah. moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, it's time for a question. In round three, each question now has four possible answers. Slightly harder, it's got to be more money on the wall. Ready? Yes. Here we go. A, Colonel. B, General. C, Brigadier. D, Major. Craig won't know this. Well, is, he, is he in army geezers? No. Well, he used to be in a, a, a band when he was younger. He used to. He was in a band. Yeah, he was yeah. in a marching band. A marching band. Yeah. So I got a feeling he might know this. You know? Yeah. So, with all that in mind, Stace, what number? Three. Go and get your ball. I'll make you right. If you're not sure, it could well go red. Thank you. You've gone free. Coming in, Craig. Angela. What's the question? On his 100th birthday in April 2020, Captain this. Tom Moore was awarded which honorary military title? Oh. We all idolise him, but I'm not, I'm not totally sure what the title was. I really don't know. Would it be a colonel, general, brigadier? Definitely. What are you not. thinking? My ad's going 
Major Tom, but that's a David yeah. Bowie yeah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's happening. Ground control to Major Tom. I think I've just got that song in my head now. <laughs> that's why it's coming up. Oh, this is a nightmare. I'm not enjoying this at all. Good. <laughs> that's why you're in there, Craig. <laughs> Suffer it. Major Tom. I like the ring of Major Tom. Of course I do. But General sounds... General. General. <laughs> I'm going to go with B. Yeah. General. Let's see. I'm going to lock B in. Oh! He's struggling in there. It's getting to him. OK. Whoa! Is it right? Or is it wrong? Oh. It was Colonel. It was. Right, so you went free, half a touch. We won a quid, one pound. Pound. Drop it. It's over that way. No, not over here. No. Not over here. No, 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 no. no. No, 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 here we go. <laughs> 58,624 oh. pounds. It's incredible. Time for question two. Oh, yeah. A, Peter Crouch. B, Big Bird. <laughs> C, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's Kev D, Darth Vader. Oh, my... You'd know this, Kev. Pretty random. He loves The Rock and he loves Darth Vader. Not into Big Bird. <laughs> <laughs> He'll know Peter Crouch because Abby danced. Ah, uh, yeah, good sound. So he would have seen him in the flesh. Yeah. OK. Are we confident around this, Stace? Because it's question two. Right. Which means you can double up. That's right. Potentially worth 100 grand if he gets it right. If he gets it wrong, well... You could have Nishman's. Do you want to double up? Yes. Of course she's going to double up. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> shaking his nut again. OK. okay. <laughs> what number? Five. What? Don't get your balls. <laughs> Listen, he could get this Honestly, right. Yeah. He may have met The Rock over the years. I don't know. Has he met Darth Vader? <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> No regrets. No, innit? No regrets. You've done your bit. You want to earn loads of dough. That's it. So come on in, Craig. <laughs> Angela, what's the question? Which of these is the tallest? Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> well, Peter Crouch has got to be taller than Darth Vader. Boom. This I'm going to yeah. eliminate Dwayne The Rock Johnson. His elbow to face. I yeah, have no right. clue. So, between A and B, Peter Crouch and Big Bird. Having never stood next to Big Bird, I have no <laughs> clue. Thinking of people next to Big Bird now, I'm trying to think, but I remember people like Liza Minnelli next to Big Bird, who was on Sesame Street, but <laughs> she's be tiny. Liza Minnelli, uh, didn't it? That's a bit... Trying to think of tall people. <laughs> That's his <laughs> reference. Yeah. That Liza. giant, Liza Sesame. Minnelli. <laughs> I'm going to say... B. Big Bird. Oh, oh. B. Locked in. Okay. Oh, I thought he was warming towards Peter Crouch for the whole mean. of that. And now he's gone Big Bird. I so feel a bit clammy. I'm all clammy. <laughs> OK. You've doubled up. I've doubled up. You went five. Craig fancied Big Bird. <sighs> Whoa! Is it right? Or is it wrong? Yes! 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 Come on! Come on! Liza that clinched it for us. It is the Liza. It is the Liza reference. <laughs> what? You doubled up. You went five. Craig pulled it out of the bag. Yes, he did. Drop him. Get over in now, you mug. Okay, okay, okay. 
Fifteen. Yes. Seventy-three thousand six hundred and thirty-four pounds. This place is amazing. Right. Time for question three, the final question. A. Mosquito. B. Atlas. C. Scampi. Love a bit of Scampi. D. Sauna. <laughs> Work that one out, Stace, please. Work it out. He lives the high life. I can imagine at some stage he's eating Scampi in a sauna. Yeah, I can <laughs> see that, yeah. Well, it's question three, so... Yeah. You can triple up. Could be worth 150 grand. If he gets it right, do you want to triple up? I need to try and get as much in the pot as possible for when the three red follow straight after, you know what I mean? Yeah, that is a strategy. So, I'm going to triple up. She's going to triple up. <laughs> <laughs> she's an animal. <laughs> what number? Three, please. Go and get your balls, Dice. Makes sense. Come on. Kev's all over the I can't watch it. <laughs> Here we go. Angela, what is that nutty question? Which of these words is borrowed from Italian? I think he might know it. If only Bruno Tonioli was here, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Craig. I don't think it's D. Sauna. Atlas. Doesn't sound right. That sounds Latin. Can't be scampy, can it? Mosquito. Mosquito. <laughs> oh, he's doing it. He's giving it. Mosquito. I think I might have to go for something uh, like scampy. Oh. I'm sorry to everyone out there. <laughs> uh, let's go. C. Scampy. I hope so. I hope so. Fingers crossed. In. I have no idea. Right, well, let's have it right. We don't know. No, I'm no. not sure. Hang on, please. No. Why have I tripled up? He fancied Scampi. Whoa! Is it right? Or is it wrong? that man. <laughs> and you've always backed him, Stace. <laughs> Got you out of trouble, didn't he? he? Yeah. Do you know, I was panicking, thinking I've gone too pushed it too far. I could see your, I could see your yeah. nut dropping. That's it. Be happy. Yep. You tripled up. I Shame did. you didn't go seven, oh, eh, Kev? No. <laughs> you need this. We want a big, oh. dirty K. Yes, we do. One of them's got to be big, ain't they? If I get over 100K in this, We imagine. want six figures. I'll yeah? do a cartwheel. Yeah? OK. I'll join <laughs> you in it. No, yep. Drop them! Right! £134. <laughs> serious, serious money. We've now got to survive. Because we know the three red balls are coming. Yep. Before we go there, we have to talk about this. Now, this is the guarantee. When Craig went into isolation, you had £15,131 from Freefall. Craig got three questions right. Hallelujah. <laughs> We're going to give you two and a half grand for each one. So that brings your guarantee to £22,631. <laughs> so, in here is a contract worth that amount. But Craig won't know its total value. All he does know for definite is that you had that £15,131 after free fall. I'm going to send this to Craig. If he signs it, 
Your charities are split in £22,631. If he tears it up, you're going to take away whatever is on the wall after the final three red balls have dropped. You've got to remember, Craig has no idea what's happened out here. He don't know what he got right, he don't know what he got wrong, he don't know what this is worth. Mm. He ain't got a clue, look at him. <laughs> he does look a bit distraught, I'm He's not going to lie. Arm, I know, but that is, that is his face. Right. Day to day. I'm going to send Craig this contract, so you might want to send him some positive, strictly telepathy, if there's such a thing. Craig, it's so rare I feel for you. <laughs> but at this moment, I know you've done your bit, you've tried your best, you've dressed up for the occasion. You did. And we thank you for that. Yeah, we thank you for that. That's yeah. nice. <laughs> it's gone. OK. We're going to cut the feed there so he can make his decision in private. Obviously, I was not thinking clearly through the whole thing because I knew the right answers as soon as I'd pushed my button. I really don't know what to do. That money that we have as a guarantee could change so many lives. And to throw it away would be terrible. But uh, I'll make a decision and I'll either risk it or I won't. Here it comes. There's the contract. There's no turning back now. Your fate is sealed. So, the first number you chose at the start of the round was... Seven. <laughs> get your ball. Your first red ball. Got to get it out of the way. We knew it was coming. I'm not a religious woman, but I'm saying a little prayer. <laughs> <laughs> This could cost you 50 grand. We don't want that. What do we want? A pound. A pound. So simple. Drop it. I can't look. £78,734. We survived. We did. Your second ball. Five or six? Six. Get your ball. I'm an idiot. No, you're not. This is what happens. I get so carried away. Yeah. Positivity. I see it. Come on. <laughs> Don't you dare, Walt. No. Don't you dare. It's going to swear there. To get no, it. you mustn't. Drop it. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah. Hey, do you? Yeah. After two red balls, £78,733. Now, your third red ball. Three. Two. One, two. Don't doubt yourself, no. Stace. Go and get your ball. This is a good, this is a good number. I'm fine. I don't do this often, Stace. I'm going to let you call it. You know the words. What are they again? <laughs> I've been saying it all night. <laughs> Should we do that again? Yes, please. Sorry, Dan. Stace, I don't do this often. <laughs> My famous catchphrase, everyone knows it. <laughs> I'm going to allow you to do it. I'm going to give you the power in your own time. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> you do this, <laughs> Drop it. Nice. <laughs> nice. Come on. Come on. Get over there. Don't you dare. Seven 
1,732 pounds. Stacey, you've been amazing. We now know what's at stake. What we don't know is what Craig has done with that contract. Please, Craig. Let's find out. Let's welcome him back. <laughs> oh, here he is. The wonderful Craig. Well, that went well, didn't it? Well, <laughs> talk to me. What was it like, isolation? It was probably the worst experience I think I've ever had, actually, in my life. I wow. wish I could say it wasn't. OK. When I knew answers, I was convincing myself that I was wrong. Well, I can tell you, you played an all-right game, Craig. You got three questions right. So that's brought your guaranteed total up to £22,631. Right. Now, that's going to be split between both your charities if you sign the contract. If you tore it up, your charities will split whatever was left on the wall. Sure. Craig? As much as the experience was enlightening, I don't wish to repeat it, it was actually quite terrifying. You know, it's just when your mind goes completely fuzzy and there's so much at stake. I was just hoping not to let you down and not to, obviously, let the charities down. I thought to myself, I did so badly, how on earth could we have got any money? So, uh, it was a huge dilemma. I ripped it up. The second round just wasn't our game particularly. The balls weren't falling where I needed them to go and... And then... I don't think I want to hear anymore. <laughs> but then, actually, the third round, we were much stronger. We had, like, 78 grand in the kitty, but that was before the three balls, the red balls, had to drop. Yeah. So, the first red ball dropped, and it went into 100 pounds. And the next one, it went into a pound. And then I had this last red ball, and it went into a pound. <laughs> so we've got over 78 grand! When celebrities are playing for charity, there's so much pressure to do the right thing. 78,000! Split between two wonderful causes. It's amazing. We've had a result. See you next time on the wall. Good night. I'm so happy.